So, as you have noticed, this giant wall of pop figures um, is enormous, and it's also part of a thing called the Paradigm Wars. Now, for those who are new subscribers, I always explain this. Now, the Paradigm Wars started off as basically a joke on a live stream where someone mentioned, hey, your pop figure collection looks like a ca is starting to look like a character selection screen on a fighting game. And I thought, oh, that's funny, but then it kind of led to, oh, you know, my brain basically snowballed into, what if it was like a story like that, if we had like a makeshift video game like that, where we had all these heroes and villains fighting each other and kind of like almost like a Secret Wars-esque kind of thing. And hence the Paradigm Wars were born, which are these stories I like to come back to every so often when I get new pop figures. And today, Jason sent me, uh, my friend Jason Voorhees2011 sent me some new ones that, um, yeah, really uh, helped along with the story. He also sent me another ones prior, and I, but I wanted to wait until I got this batch. And as you can see, the wall has reached its limit. The wall has reached its limit, but as you can see on the bottom row right here, I'm still going to be collecting shit, because it's me. <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, let's talk about this. Let us talk about uh, the new updates for the Paradigm Wars. So the storyline, for those who don't know of the Paradigm Wars, it's, the story is, is that there are these race of beings called the Paradigm, these race of god, uh, these omni, uh, these omnipotent beings called the paradigm, and they're godlike. But the thing is, is that they don't understand the concepts of good or evil, and they don't know which is better. So what they did was essentially grab all of these characters throughout the multiverse, all these heroes and villains throughout the multiverse, and flung them into a makeshift world, kind of like Battle World, and said, "Hey, so we're the paradigm, and listen." We want you guys to prove to us which is better, good or evil, and that will be the way we follow. That will be the path we follow. We will use either our powers for good or evil, depending on, you know, who is the be you know, which side is better. So the hero side is uh the hero side and the villain side are like, okay, what do we get in return? And the paradigm are like, we'll we'll give you whatever you want. We will grant you whatever you want. And the Marvel superheroes that are here are like, oh, Fuck me, it is literally... It's it's Secret Wars all over again. Oh no. So yes. Um, the Also the other thing is that some of the heroes and villains come from different timelines. Like, uh, you have Goku in here at Ultra Instinct, but also you have young Goku in here. They're all... Now keep in mind, these are all... All the characters in the Paradigm Wars are characters that are in, uh, that come from the pop list. You know, on the pop wall, I should say. And, yeah. So, there are Marvel characters, but there are also, there are characters from the, from the comics, as well as characters from the Marvel movies. And now that the, fa the rest of the Fantastic Four are here, we got the whole Fantastic Four and Spider-Man. We got uh, Spider-Man in here, but it is Spider-Man when he had the armor during ends the Ends of the Earth storyline. So that's the spider armor, the Mach 3 spider armor. But yeah, it is Peter Parker from the comics. You also have finally a Batman. We also had Batman Beyond, but Superman's here now. And um, when Batman, you know, when Batman arrives, because whenever I get new pops, I basically have it in my head like, okay, the paradigm just keeps sending in more characters to fight on either side. So when Batman arrives, you know, when Bruce arrives into the uh, Infinity Verse, not Infinity Verse, the Paradigm Wars, Superman greets him and he's like, uh, Bruce, something you should know. Um, there's a Joker. He there's two Jokers here: the Batman who laughs. And a different version of, of Killer Croc and Scarecrow. And Bruce immediately goes, of course. Of course. So yes, there is 89, Batman 89 Joker, you know, Jack Nicholson Joker. You also have uh, the Batman who laughs and a Batman who is, who, a Joker, excuse me, a Joker who became a Batman after his Batman died in the multiverse. So yeah, that was also a pop figure, like a loot crate one that I got from my cousin. Um, but yeah, you also have Zuko in here. Zuko, um, this is season one Zuko, so it's very much like, oh, I want to capture the Avatar, and he's working with Azula. There's no Iroh here. I wanted to find an Iroh, and I'm still missing a Sokka. That's great. Um, but yeah, so this, uh, now we do have Aang, Sokka, uh, Aang, Toph, and Katara, but they like, they're like, oh, Zuko is our friend, but this isn't the same Zuko we know, and he doesn't know us like that. So, great. Um, 
you also have uh, Star Wars characters like Kylo Ren is here. Um, and this is Kylo Ren from Force Awakens, so this is still him fresh off of killing Han. But Han is also, old man Han is still here, plucked from an earlier point in time. Meanwhile, you also have Rey in here, that is uh, Rey from after Last Jedi, so she's even stronger now with a little more training. And you also have Vader, Palpatine, and two other major ones. You have also on the good side for Star Wars, you have the Mand you have the Mandalorian Din Djarin, you've got uh you've got Enfys Nest from Han Solo. When she meets Han again, she's like, How did you get so old, Solo? And it's like it's it's a weird thing, kid. I don't even want to explain it. Um And you've got Hondo. Yeah, you've got Han uh, Hondo Onaka in here. And yeah. So, but the two big ones on the Star Wars side are that Revan and Malak were brought into the Paradigm Wars. And Revan first, and then Malak came along second. And Revan was like, this is what the Sith become? When he's, he actually, I wanted to have it where he fights Kylo and Vader. And he's like, this is what the Sith get degraded to. A, a, a machine man and a petulant child. This is what became of the Sith. This is pathetic. And Malak shares the same uh, thoughts. But the thing is, is that while Malak, uh, while Revan is, this is still like a Darth Revan. This is, uh, this is a Revan who doesn't want to be controlled by gods and kind of, and uh, does his own thing. He doesn't w work alongside the other villains. Whereas Malak's like, oh yeah, totally. But uh, fuck Vader and Kylo. And maybe you, Pal uh, Palpatine, you have some promise, but your apprentices suck. Your 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 apprentice your apprentice is a is a joke. He may claim to be a Sith Lord, but he is like it's 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 a dude with a breathing problem. Come on, and this is from a guy with half a jaw. Um, and also, don't get me started on that fucking kid, uh, his grandson. So Vader, Na Vader, and Kylo both feel like they have to prove shit. So while this is a Ray that is even stronger than Kylo at this point. Um, Vader is now training Kylo in this in this storyline. Vader is now like tra is now training Kylo in the ways of the dark side, so he'll be even strong because he knows he's got like yeah. Um, Kylo has a lot of power, and um, I can use that. You know, he's my grandson, so forget Luke. I have Kylo now, so if I can train him, maybe we can take on Pal we can overthrow Palpatine. And then, you know, who knows? Maybe we could take on Malak and Revan. But Revan's kind of gone. As he's left the other villains because the villains don't really work together as the, as the heroes do. The heroes all kind of um, have transferred all of their leadership to Superman. Superman is the leader of the, uh, of the hero side. Whereas the villains have all kind of left in the very um, battle world that is the, pa the paradigm created. And... They've all kind of like built up territories like an old man Logan. And Revan has kind of just gone his own way. He's just kind of like, I don't want any to deal with this, but if you get in my way, I'll fucking kill you. Um, but yeah, so at first, Ben was all by his lonesome because the thing, Ben the ben Grimm was pretty much by his lonesome and until recently the, fan the rest of the Fantastic Four arrived along with Doom. And it, it, you got to remember the other only other villains that were the other only other six one six characters that were around were Ock, uh, were Octavius, Electro, Sandman, and Craven, as well as the Super Scroll and a few others. Whereas other Marvel characters were from the movie universe. So when Ben met um, Bart Clint as Ronan, he was like, "Hey Barton, why are you dressed as Ronan again?" And Clint's like, "I don't know you, dude." Same with Star Lord. When he sees Star Lord again, he's like. Wait, you don't know me? I'm... Oh, shit. Fucking multiverse. We also have a Z the Marvel Zombie Hulk. And you may be thinking, well, how does that work? Does Zombie Hulk just infect people? Well, that was brought up, too, where the, um, the Paradigmer uh, actually used their powers to keep the zomb... You know, to keep the Zombie Hulk from infecting other people with the zombie virus. So, no one can get infected. But at the same time, Zombie Hulk could still eat them. So, keep that in mind. Um, oh yeah, Sinister's also here. Um, from 616. But yeah. So, um, 
like I said, it's just a fun story. I like to come back and update every so often when I get new pop figures because it, it just adds to the story even more. It's like I said, it's a combination of secret of uh, Secret Wars. If this was an actual video game, this would be a combination of Secret Wars meets um, of Secret Wars meets Mortal Kombat 11. Because again, with the whole timelines thing and all that, so there you go. So you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of these new updates? You guys like them, hate them? Just comment below, let me know. And once again, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.